In this video, I'll be explaining how to set up hybrid for RTK using Magnet Field 3.1. From the main menu, we simply go into Configure and we'll check the coordinate system by going to Coord System. Ensure you have the right projection, datum and geoid selected and then simply hit back and we'll go into survey. In the survey settings screen, ensure that you have hybrid positioning ticked. Without this ticked, you won't be able to use the GPS and optical configurations in conjunction with each other. We will now edit the GPS configuration by hitting the three dots and going into edit the Hyper-V. In this example, we're using a Hyper-V base and rover setup. Ensure that the base matches the rover configuration settings as we can see here. Hybrid works very well also with network RTK and can be utilised using a Hyper SR ensuring that you have internet connection to utilise the all day RTK network. But in this video we are explaining the RTK method using base and rover with a Hyper-V. Once you are happy with all the survey settings simply hit the green tick and you'll go back to the survey configuration screen. And now we want to edit the optical configuration. And we hit the three dots next to optical. We will edit the PS Carl configuration and ensure you have all the correct configuration settings, in this case robotic, Bluetooth using direct connection. On the survey settings screen, we want to edit the prism. To edit the prism type, simply hit the three dots next to the prism foresight option. And we can see here ATP1360 is selected. We notice the hybrid positioning antenna offset is set to 55 millimeters, and there is no option to change this. This is a default measurement from the center of the ATP1360 prism to the base of any Hyper 2V GR5 SR that is attached to the ATP1 using a spacer with a 5 8 thread. If the distance between the centre of the ATP1 prism and the base of the rover is different to this 55mm, we simply hit the drop down for prism and add new. We'll call this prism ATP1 copy and if we go up into the magnet symbol and then help there is some helpful information in regards to editing prisms to explain the different customizable features. You can call this prism a new name, you can edit the prism constant but most of all the hybrid positioning antenna offset. In this case we are setting it to 70 millimeters. This extra 70 millimeters of height is added on to the prism height that will be set in the configuration or in the topo screen and when switching from total station to GPS the software will add this 70 millimeters onto the pole height without you having to change the pole height when switching between total station and GPS modes. Once you are happy with these new prism settings simply hit the green tick and ensure that you select this new prism type next to foresight and backsight PC and continue through the configuration. Once you are happy with the survey configuration settings simply hit the green tick and you'll go back to the main screen and the configuration is complete for hybrid RTK. In this section I'll be explaining how to use the total station and GPS when in topo and stakeout. From the main screen we simply go into connect and we want to connect to both the total station and the GPS. To ensure that they're both connected at the top right you'll have the total station symbol and the GPS to ensure that you're connected to both units. To change between GPS and total station, you can simply hit the total station symbol next to the battery life indicator. When in GPS, you can go into setup status to ensure that you have a GPS fix before commencing your survey. From the main screen, we need to set up the total station for our job. This can be done using various methods like using a backsight 
or a resection or ref line. In this case, we're using a resection to establish the position of the total station. Define the occupy point and the height and hit next. Select the point that you're going to observe first and input the reflector height. The main feature of using the hybrid positioning system is the option up the top left just under the magnet symbol which looks like a magnifying glass with a target symbol in it. Once you hit this button within a couple of seconds the total station will turn and find you at this fixed position and lock on to you automatically so you can continue your survey in a fast and efficient manner to increase productivity and less wait times when doing a survey. Once you are happy and over the point, simply hit save and then it will prompt you to move to the next control point and pick this from the list. And once I get to the new point, I simply hit the hybrid search button again. The total station again turns to me and locks on in order for me to finish the resection and setting up the total station. Once I'm happy with this position, simply hit save and accept the resection results. And now your total station and GPS are ready to survey in topo and set out modes. To do a topo survey from the main screen, go into survey and then topo. I'll take a topo shot in total station mode and then I'll switch to GPS by hitting the total station symbol which will now change to a GPS symbol and I'll hit save. So now I have a position in total station mode and GPS mode using the pole height from the bottom of the pole to the center of the ATP1 prism. To ensure that the hybrid positioning offset is being applied, I'll now go into stakeout by hitting home and going into stakeout points. I will select the point that I measured using the GPS and you'll notice that the symbol is different next to this point with a little man symbol with a GPS pole and rover on top as compared to the reflector target point symbol next to the points that were measured using the total station. As we can see here using the total station comparing to the GPS shot all the residuals are easily within tolerance and I am happy to store this point. I will now select the point that I observed using the total station and I'll stake this out using the GPS by simply hitting the total station symbol and it will change to GPS mode. Once you are over the point, simply hit save and we can see here again this is within GPS tolerance. So I'm happy that the hybrid prism offset is being applied in both topo and stakeout.